Hello everybody and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today I'm going to be having a look at a newly modded Xbox original playing Coinops 5 Lite emulation. Now, I've recently done a video showing you the Final Burn Legends pack, but I'm going to be showing you Coinops 5 Lite here. I'm just going to run you through every single game that comes in in the uh, in the download <clears throat> now there are a number of benefits of having coin ops 5 as opposed to having final burn legend so I'll be talking you through that throughout this video but just have a look at some of the great games on offer here you can see that APB great altered beast Sega classic there Arkanoid there's some utterly stunning games in this pack now in the description below you will find instructions on how to mod your original Xbox soft mod that is I recently did a video showing you how you can take a normal Xbox with a stock supplied hard drive and you can apply a few little tweaks to it to mod it to be able to play any of these arcade games and Super Nintendo, Sega Mega Drive or Genesis etc etc so just look in the description below and you'll find a link to that mod I've also done a mod video showing you how to play Final Burn Legends now again very similar to this it's a, a sort of arcade emulation pack all in one well it's not really all in one though now here here's the main difference so what I'm talking about here is modding a stock Xbox in that I haven't changed out the hard drive for a bigger hard drive okay so this is what you get it's something like I don't know five or eight gig hard drive once you modded it you have a num number of options you can just put standard emulators on all nice and easy or you can put on one of these big boy packs so the first thing about Final Burn Legends is that it didn't come with any of the videos you can see here on the right hand side that show you the game playing it also didn't come with what are called marquees which are the names on top of the arcade that you can see just here crazy climber etc i had to do all that individually in some cases i had to make the videos which was a very long process and other cases i had to make the marquees they can be found online but it's quite a long bloody task so that's one downside to final burn legends Another downside is I had to put all the games on myself, so I had to choose the games and I had to put them on the hard drive. So I think I've got roughly the same number of games on my Final Burn Legends Xbox as I do on this Xbox, the CoinOps 5 Lite Xbox. So let's talk about CoinOps 5 Lite. Okay, first off, it's about a 4.8 gigabyte download pack. It comes in a zip format. So unzip it, then you just shove the entire folder on your newly modded Xbox original. Now here's the great thing. Once you have shoved CoinOps 5 Lite onto the hard drive, that's it, you're ready to go. All these files are there. This is a sort of all-in-one solution. If you don't really know what you're doing, this is probably the best option for you. Also, one great thing about this is the file size is relatively small um, once you've shoved this on that's it your hard drive is kind of maxed out and you can't really do too much more with it now what I would suggest if you do do this mod if you do put CoinOps 5 Lite on your Xbox or are thinking of doing so what I did is I removed several games and several video files first now I removed the Metal Slug series not because I think they're crap but because I have played them to death 
absolutely killed those games to death. So I removed all the video files and I thought that I deleted all of the games, but I seem to have left a couple of the Metal Slug games on here. So you'll see when I scroll down to them that there's no video file left. Now that reduced the file size considerably and just gave me, I think I've, I've got roughly 170 meg or so left on the whole Xbox. But that's fine. This, I do plan on taking this Xbox apart and potentially shoving it into an arcade machine, a bar top arcade machine and having the innards of the Xbox become the brains of that arcade machine. So this layout in my opinion and the menu options of CoinOps 5 not quite as nice as Final Burn. Now that's just a personal preference maybe because I started out with Final Burn and I've used Final Burn a hell of a lot and I'm quite new to CoinOps still uh, but either way both whichever one you prefer Final Burn or CoinOps there doesn't seem to be a lot of friendly sort of help as it were there's lots of signing up and trust um, involved around getting support of both both of the suites um, because everyone it's, it seems like a bit of an all boys club and uh, you know I've had to kind of circumvent circumnavigate the uh, the usual ways of getting hold of the files and just gone about it my own way which it's a bit easier with coin ops because there's loads of places which have uploaded coin ops 5 light to their servers but the final burn legends uh, can be a bit more tricky and it's been it took me a hell of a lot longer to work out what I was doing um, I, I th I'd recommend coin ops for if you're new at this kind of thing if you are interested in modding your Xbox and don't really know what you're doing just click one of the links below in the comment section so this has this CoinOps 5 light pack. At the moment I'm going through all the arcade games, all these classic arcade games. Uh, there you go, Mario Bros. 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 Brothers. Um, and later on you'll see that it also has kind of early PC games. It has Super Nintendo games, N64 games. It has Sega Genesis or Mega Drive games. Here's the Metal Slugs. There you go. You can see I deleted out the uh, the video files, but not the actual games. Idiot. So I'll go back and I'll do that at some point. Um, so yeah, this this coin ops. The fact that it also has in the ability to to play consoles within this kind of uh, this screen is is awesome really really great it it very much supports the N64 as well which you find a lot of emulators and a lot of hardware don't really support N64 that well now this plays N64 amazingly it also supports here as you can see the Mortal Kombat arcade series which there is also a lot of trouble emulating these games on other systems so they're really really perfect conversions I'm really really happy with that absolutely amazing if you wondered about the dashboard I'm running on this Xbox it is the Unleash X dash uh, on my modding video I believe I modded it with Evolution X dashboard so I just wanted to uh, completely mod this this Xbox completely differently to how I did the original one so look at some of these games the games supported here there seem to be some slight differences in what's supported on this one and what's supported on the final burn emulator uh, I'm not sure if that's true but it just seems that way from my first glance there's some great games on here and some games that I've never heard of in my life uh, so I'll be spending a lot of time flicking through these games so you can see here on the very top of the screen it says there's 374 games that's just built into the CoinOps 5 light pack 
Now, if you haven't hard modded your Xbox, that's to say swapped out the hard drive for something bigger, maybe, I don't know, an 80 gigabyte hard drive, do not, do not, categorically do not download CoinOps 5 or 6 full. Do not do it. Um, it's like a 40, 50, 60 gig download and it won't fit on your Xbox, all right? It will not fit on there, so don't do it. It's a waste of time and a waste of effort. Just get yourself light. If you do have a hardware modded Xbox, then by all means do so. If you want an all-in-one solution, if you've got the bandwidth, if you've got the patience, and if you have the know-how to get hold of that download, do so, definitely do so. But do expect to wait some time to put the files onto your Xbox, etc. It will take you bloody ages. All right, I'm coming up to the end here of the arcade games. So what have we got? R-Type Leo. Never played that. Must have a go of that. It does look bloody awesome. One other thing I love about this coin ops pack, if you look on the bottom right, it tells you the year, the category, which isn't always ideal, I'd say. Uh, I'm not, I don't know about the naming conventions for some of these. And it also tells you the manufacturer, the uh, developer, sorry, of the, the game, which is wonderful. Really nice little handy bit of information. But when you're in a game, Accessing additional options is very hard on CoinOps. In Final Burn, if you click in the right analog stick, you have access to a whole load of options. Really, really nice options as well. You can change the software filters, etc. Now, at the moment, it seems like, to me, CoinOps, accessing those kind of options, you have to be a bit of a genius and remember that you have to press the back button plus the white button plus the black button or the back button plus the left shoulder button plus the white button for example uh, there's dozens and dozens of combos um, why can you not simply push in the right analog um, but saying that pushing in the right analog stick on coin ops will give you access to a rapid fire mode which I, I quite like actually so uh, each have their pros each have their cons and um, uh, I've got one machine with each mod installed so I have no preference quite frankly this is the newer of my mods so I'm liking this a bit more at the moment um, because I haven't played half of these games where I've rinsed the games on my final burn Xbox to shit. Rygar. There's a game you should play if you haven't. It is phenomenal. Don't know what this uh, generic drum and bass tune is in the background underneath me. Is there any need for it? Not entirely sure. Saturday Night Slam Masters by Capcom. Stunning game. Play that as well if you haven't. So this already has support for Neo Geo games as well. On the final burn pack, I had to install various bits and pieces to get Neo Geo games to work. Um, they do work, but you just need to install a few other bits. And uh, eventually, I got it running, and uh, I think it's uh, it does an amazing job of it. But this has it all installed automatically, which is great. Shinobi, gotta love a bit of Shinobi. Lots and lots and lots of top-down shooters you'll see in this. This is called an action top-down, strange. Shooting side-scroller. Beat him up. Silent Dragon, huh? Hmm, haven't played that. Silkworm I have played, very nice. Oh, this game, Slice by. Absolute shit. Smash TV, everyone loves Smash TV. And Snow Bros. One and two. See, the fact that that drum and bass track is still playing, yet some of the video files have uh, music on them already, 
that to me seems a bit senseless. So uh, another little thumbs down for coin ops at the moment. Space Harrier. If you haven't played that, you need to reevaluate your life. And Space Invaders as well. These are classic, classic games we're talking about here. The history of gaming. Yeah, not too sure I've actually played Spelunky. Stupid. Sega Spider-Man. Look at that gorgeous graphics. And Splatterhouse. Ultra Violence. Sort of Jason Voorhees style guy. Spy Hunter. Recently picked up a Spy Hunter port on the PlayStation 2. I found it at a car boot sale. And look at that, the 1983 3D Star Wars shooter. It has an inverted control system, so if you're playing on your joypad, it's quite annoying. Might need to get myself a joystick for that. Loads and loads of shooting behind gun games in this. And Street Fighter, the original, this is where it all started. Very, very easy game to complete. Give it a go though. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Wonderfully fast game. Street Fighter 2, here's another bit of beef I've got. The marquee has Akuma in it. Why? Hmm. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Strider, incredibly hard game. Give it a go, peeps. Sunset Riders, one of the hardest games ever. It was Super Contra, just went through. Super Hang On, Super Monaco GP, Super Punch Out. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. So many supers. Superman, which isn't that super. SWAT Police, look at that. Crazy concept. Never played this either. Interesting game. TNK. Yes. Oh, absolute stunner. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 and 2. Go and play them. Tetris multiplayer so you might see some of these games if you search our timeline and uh, some of the more classic ones if we haven't played them already they're certainly on our list of to play I don't like the way games starting with the word the are all filed under T here um, that annoys me somewhat but Alas, that is just my preference, not to have them under T. Thunderblade, another exceedingly hard game. Thundercade, I wouldn't know, I haven't played. Tiger Rally, that's a very good game actually. I haven't played Tiger Road. Or Time Pilot. Tubin, I have played. It's quite an enjoyable game, very strange. Total Carnage, we have done a SNES version of that on the channel. It is wonderful. Trojan. Truxton. Turbo Outrun. Classic. Toot and Carmoon, eh? Twin Cobra, I love that. UN Squadron, I love that. Vampire Savior, you need to play that if you haven't. Just spinning through the last few now. Vigilante, wonderful. Violent Storm, I don't know what that is. Yes. Willow. Haha, <laughs> that is Warwick Davis and Wonder Boy. Perfect, perfect game. WWF Superstars and WrestleFest. WrestleFest is crazy. One of the greatest wrestling games of all time. This X Men game, very easy to complete. X-Men Street Fighter. Yeah. There's some random titles in there. I could probably do with re-auditing the files, getting rid of a few shitty bits and uh, putting in a few other games that I do enjoy. But I'll do that with time. If I ever decide to put the brains of this Xbox into an arcade cabinet, then I'll re-audit the games. So here we go. We're getting on to the non-arcade games. So here's a few PC games. Look at that, classic. Doom 2. 
brilliant. Oh, very hard game. Echo, for me, pointless. Gunstar Heroes, the greatest platforming adventure ever by Treasure. Wonderful game. So a few Sonic games in here. All play exceedingly well. Brilliant. And check this next game out. F-Zero X. Oh, I've skipped that. Never mind. Mario Kart 64. Pilot Wing 64. Both play absolutely perfect. In fact, all these N64 games. Stunning. Brilliant. Bit of SNES action going on. Mega Man X3. Original Pilot Wings. Great game. Yeah. So we're coming up to the end. If there's anything you'd like to see me try with the Xbox modding, just let me know or just drop a comment below on any other thoughts you have. So until the next time, guys, see you later.